Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel if you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, this is the very first video that I'm recording during Ramadan. I'm not too sure when I will upload it, but this is the first time that I'm recording a video whilst not drinking water or having ingested any fluids prior to this. So I'm curious myself to see if I'm going to be able to record as many videos during Ramadan. May God guide us all. Ramadan Mubarak to everyone. Guys, today we're going to react to seven Russian states with a majority Muslim population by the amazing channel Muslim Convert Stories. Being a UFC fan myself, I of course know about Dagestan and Chechnya, two states within Russia that brought forth amazing fighters such as Habib Nurmagomedov or Hamzat Shimaev. But which other states in Russia are of a majority Muslim population? We're going to find it out today. With no further ado, let's have a look. From its first steps in the region of Caucasus in the 7th century and fighting a war with the Turkics to becoming a superpower in the country and reigning over the lives of more than 10% of the population, Islam has come a long way in the Russian Federation. Currently, there are four mosques in Moscow, the capital of Russia, and over 8,000 praying centers established all over the country. Islam is the second largest religion in Russia, and it is mainly comprised in seven states. Today, we'll be elaborating the story of the seven states. 1. Ingushetia Never is a Russian republic with a population of Thanks an estimated 330,000, of which 96% are Muslims. The state proclaimed Islam as its primary religion in the 19th century. Previously, the English man, this is the beauty practiced of Islam. Christianity. Have you noticed it? Check this out. Polizia. Here you can see a policeman praying with the common people. This is the beauty of Islam. Everybody prays together. It does not matter who you are. You could be a millionaire, a billionaire, a policeman, a politician. If you are a Muslim, you pray shoulder to shoulder. Previously, the English practiced Christianity and used to be pagans. Today, the state follows the Chechen preacher Kunta Haji and practices the Shafi'i school of thought with Sufism. Ingushetia has the largest population of Muslims in the Russian Federation, and most of them dress similar to the Muslims in Indonesia and Malaysia. Mm. Mahmoud Ali Kalimatov heads the state of Ingushetia and is a practicing Muslim. 2. Chechnya Of course. Chechnya is one of the largest Islamic states in Russia and was actually proclaimed as an Islamic Republic in 1997. Ramadan Kadyrov, the head, has memorized the Holy Quran and continues to preside over the state as a hardline protector of Muslim rights. Although the state's head has come under fire, I've seen him as well being involved in certain Sufi practices. Quite interesting to see. <laughs> For regulating tough laws, the state itself is known for its diversity in food and scenic beauty. Chechen Muslims primarily follow the Shafi'i school of thought. 3. Kabardino Balkaria Kabardino Balkaria is a federal yeah, subject of Russia and is best known for its scenic beauty. Kabardino is home to the highest mountain in Europe, Mount Elbrus, and a population of approximately 900,000 of which 70% are Muslims. Wow. The Kabards and the Balkars of the region were among the last of the North Caucasian people to be converted to Islam and today they primarily follow Sunni Islam. The head of the Republic, Kazbek Kokov, oversees the legal and religious affairs. 4. Karachai Cherkessia okay. is a federal state this of the really North Caucasus region of Russia. So many countries it never boasts heard a population of half a million people, of which 64% are Muslims. The State Republic is one of the most religious regions in Russia, 
and they have been known to spend their lives practicing spirituality. Until the 17th century, Karachais were primarily Orthodox Christians. Then the Crimean Tatars arrived, and the Circassian Turks stayed until the mid-18th century. They were Muslims, and their influence led the Karachais to accept Islam. Today, just 14% of Karachai Cherkessia are Orthodox Christians. Their leader, It's a shame that he doesn't show the map as he did in the beginning. I would like to see where they are located. Rashid Tamrezov has established many rules to balance the religious nature of the Karachais, but it's yet to be known whether he, too, is a practicing Muslim. 5. Bakhortostan, or Bashkiriya, is a large federal republic of Russia, and it is located between the Ural Mountains and the Volga River. The beautiful nature is mm, home to around 5 million people, Close to of Bulgaria, which 60% then, are Muslims. Okay, this let me Google this. All right, so I was wrong. It's not close to Bulgaria. It is just the Volga River, which is way, way bigger than I knew prior to this. So this year would be Bashkortostan around here. And if we zoom out, this is where Europe is. So this is where Bulgaria is, Romania, Ukraine. Russia is so huge, man. Here is Moscow. And Bashkortostan is around this area. When you go down, you see Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, etc., etc. So this is in close proximity to the Muslim world. The beautiful nature is home to around 5 million people, of which 60% are Muslims. Islam was introduced in the region around the 10th century by the Volga Bulgars. A go. minority of population of Russian Orthodox right, Christians also live in the Republic of Bakhortostan and they comprise around 17% of the total population. The native Muslim Bash... That is something very interesting as well, because if you look at the Volga Bulgarians, they're actually way closer to the proto-Bulgarians than the Bulgarians in the Balkans nowadays. So this is something that we as Bulgarians, and yes, I do identify as a Bulgarian, even though I come from Macedonia, have to keep in mind too, that the proto-Bulgarians ultimately became Muslim. Peers primarily speak Turkic, influenced by their own history with the Turks. The Republic of Bashkiriya is presided by Radi Khabirov, and he has been known to respect Islam. 6. Tartarstan is another large problems. federal republic of Russia. It has a population of nearly 4 million people, which mainly comprises Tatars and Bashkirs. Influenced heavily by the arrival of the Turks in the late 10th century, the region converted to Islam and followed the ways of the Turkic people. Mm. Around 55% of the population of Tatarstan is Muslim. The other half are Russian Orthodox Christians. Given the massive number of both religions, everyone has the freedom to practice their religion openly. There are masjids on every corner of Tatarstan, and beside them stands a church. The balance is beautiful. That's nice, man. That's beautiful. Seven. Dagestan. It's another example, of course, that Islam and Christianity can coexist. If you look into certain evangelicals, certain Islamophobes, they will tell you that if you establish Islam anywhere, Christianity will suffer or will be wiped out. And this is simply false. Even if you look at Senegal, where my wife comes from, 97% roughly are Muslim. So they have a population of roughly 3% Christians. What's up with them? Are they enslaved? Are they in shackles? No, they are coexisting peacefully. Of course, and the same applies to the Balkan. If you look at the Balkan, if the Ottoman Empire was so evil, so bad, how is it then that we still have Orthodox churches around? And moreover, if you look into the time of the Ottoman Empire, those Christian churches were able to practice. However, during the communist times, they were not. So if you look at communism or even modern day liberalism, those ideologies are way worse, of course, to Christianity than Islam could ever be. Dagestan. Um, is one of the oldest Russian Republic with a Muslim majority. With a population of approximately 4 million, Dagestanis enjoy diversity to its fullest. There are multiple ethnicities in the region, all of whom speak different dialects, but are united under Islam. Dagestan is also known as a mountain of language and nationalities. Around 90% of the Republic of Dagestan follows Islam and the rest practice Orthodox Christianity. The famous mixed martial artist, Khabib Nurmagomedov, hails from the public of Dagestan and is a devout Muslim. 
He has inspired millions around the world with his kind attitude, gentle manners, and respect. This concludes our story of the seven Islamic states of Russia. Muslims may comprise only 10% of the population of Russia, but their influence is larger than any other religion in the country. From the heads of the states to the citizens of the republics, everyone makes sure to practice Islam thoroughly and inspire others to do so as well. There aren't many converts to Islam, and most of the Muslims are natives to the federal states. This is primarily because rejecting state orthodox still isn't met well in the country. Of course Converts not. to Islam are shunned or forced to exile to different countries. Mm -hmm. However, Islam continues to grow in Russia, given the high birth rate, and with the will of Allah, Muslims may see a better future in the country. May Allah Almighty safeguard the Muslims in Russia, bless them with mercy, and keep them steadfast under Iman. Ameen. I mean, all right, guys, and this is it for today's video. As he said beautifully in the end, there with the will of Allah, and ultimately, everything happens within the will of Allah, of course. I personally cannot speak on the behalf of Allah here, but I find it very curious, of course, to see how we've seen a rise in the UFC ranks by Russian Muslim fighters, even so far that we have a champion which first name is. Islam. And throughout the video it was mentioned as well that certain Caucasoid people, white Europeans ultimately, were the last ones to revert to Islam. And by seeing this rise in the UFC ranks, seeing this representation of white Islam, if you will, this of course can be a beautiful motivation to the white Europeans to see that, hey, Islam is not only for Arabs, for Pakistanis, for Turks, for Albanians and what not. No, Islam is universal and as it says in the Quran, it came for all of mankind. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.